What's up guys, Mainly Hockey Cards here, and today I'm going to go over the five things you must know as a hockey card investor for the Seattle Kraken expansion draft. The first thing to be aware of is that players who will get drafted by Seattle will immediately see an uptick in hobby value. Similar to when Vegas originally selected their team, these players are the first players to play for the new team, and the only players that fans of Seattle will be able to collect for quite some time, other than prospects that may be in upper deck CHL sets. If you are a buyer, make sensible buying decisions. If you are a seller, make your own judgment on if the market is hot enough for you to engage. Second, pay attention to any younger players with potential that Seattle drafts. Think back to Vegas. Jonathan Marchessault, William Carlson, and even Shea Theodore, who was traded to Vegas so that the Ducks would take Clayton Stoner instead of Josh Manson. Young prospects can be a great buying opportunity as all three of those players have become huge names and faces of the franchise for the Vegas Golden Knights. Number three, for those that do not have serious potential or are in the older generation of players, it might be a good idea to sell and capitalize on just the hype from being drafted into Seattle. Take Derek Anglin, for instance, who did not command any sort of market value and then had some realized value in his tenure as being one of the original Golden Knights. Or Clayton Stoner. Guys that you wouldn't expect to command hobby value are going to command value just because they're now part of the Kraken. Number four. For superstars, don't immediately sell out. If, for example, Tarasenko, Hall, or Price become part of the Kraken, maybe wait until the regular season. Wait until they start to pick up some serious traction. However, don't be opposed to selling on the hype. Superstars on expansion teams are a bit of a risky investment just because there's no guarantee that they'll follow the trajectory they had on their former team. And with a new market, anything could happen, but all signs point to Seattle being a pretty good market for a hockey team. Number five, speaking of players on their former teams, pay attention to depth charts. See who gets drafted at what position from each team and see if the departure of that player makes a difference in a younger guy getting more time and opportunity or a second line player becoming the first line player that they were projected to be. If, for instance, Carey Price is taken, Caden Primo might be a great investment. If Vladimir Tarasenko gets taken, does Robert Thomas emerge into a locked top six role? I think so. Ultimately, investing around the expansion draft is an emotional time where values can disproportionately skyrocket. If you're looking to invest in players involved in the draft, sit back, pull out some statistics, and use your own best judgment if a player is a good investment or not. Likewise, look at players that aren't being as focused on as they should be on teams affected by the draft. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe. It means the world to me. Cheers, everyone.